почувалась тревога, мы вышли в коридор, ну, с детьми. И, ну, вот был потужный вибух. В всех машинках побывалось скло. А так, в принципе, все живы, слава Богу. Freedom of Russia Legion volunteers vow to end Putin's reign in last election raid. Alexei Baranovsky, a volunteer from the Freedom of Russia Legion, commented on the raid that continues in the Belgorod and Kursk oblasts against the backdrop of the sham presidential elections in Russia during a Radio NV broadcast. We still have enough surprises, Baranovsky said. At the moment, the military leadership has not decided when this special liberation operation will be completed and whether it will be completed at all. Now, we are working according to the schedule. The last election day is in full swing. It's hard to announce yet. But the fighting is on and we are not going to stop there. He also said that the soldiers are fighting with the understanding, if not us, then who? Someone has to do the dirty work to destroy Putin and his regime. It will not be Ukrainian soldiers. Ukraine will liberate its territory, return Crimea, Donbass and all occupied territories within the 1991 borders. But for us, the war will not end. We will have to go on and finish off this bastard in its heart, in its lair. Asked whether Putin was afraid of them, the Freedom of Russia Legion fighter said, if they used to ignore all our raids, in any case, this is the first time Putin has commented twice which means that it at least causes him some discomfort below the back. I don't know if this burning sensation will turn into fear sooner or later, it will. But the very fact that Putin is commenting is a sign that we are on the right track. Vladimir Vladimirovich, wait! Russian volunteers from the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion announced a new operation in Russia's Belgorod Oblast on March the 12th. The Russian Volunteer Corps claimed to have advanced several dozens of kilometers and taken prisoners. Moscow reported casualties among the Russian army. Russia's unlawful, staged presidential elections have been held over three days in occupied Ukrainian territories where occupation authorities have employed various tactics to prop up voter turnout. Russian soldiers in Ukraine eligible to vote for Putin, dead or alive. A new legislation has simplified the document requirements and allowed Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine to cast their vote in the Russian presidential election without even showing their faces, meaning those deceased might still be eligible for voting. The Kyiv Post media outlet reported this. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine said the latest instructions from the main military political directorate of the Russian armed forces meant that Russian military personnel deployed to Ukraine no longer require a passport or military ID to vote and even a photocopy will suffice. They are also not required to be physically present at the polling stations. The order is likely issued internally within the Russian military. The Kyiv Post says other Russians can also vote online using Russia's electronic voting system, though some form of electronic identity verification is still required. However, this system is reportedly not being used by the Russian military. Russians also began to complain about technical issues with the electronic voting system today. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine believed the new changes in the Russian military would make it easier for Russian authorities to falsify the results and increase votes for Putin by adding the votes of those who recently died, went missing or were captured. It is obvious that in this way the Russian election commissions will try to increase the number of Putin's voters by attracting the so-called dead souls to the voting. In particular to the number of people who voted along with existing military personnel, they plan to add also those who recently died, went missing or were captured. Red the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine press release. The Defense Intelligence also said the official Russian casualty rate could mean a lot more votes for Putin and questioned the legitimacy of the elections. The Kremlin is carrying out a whole set of measures for the fictitious holding of the so-called elections of the President of the Russian Federation. Although it is obvious to everyone that neither the very fact of these elections nor their results are a means of legitimizing Putin's rule either in Russia or abroad, the announcement read.